It's a horse, bro. Stoked. Yep, that's a goodie. Then it's secured. Beauty. Morning, brother. Good morning, and welcome back to Muddy Feet. It's just before six o'clock in the morning, and uh, we've just woken up. We've stayed the night at the campground on 90 Mile Beach, and we're going to be heading out to the bluff, which is just behind me here. Um, our target species for today are Trevally and Snapper. All right, beautiful place to be. Nothing else to do but get amongst it. Let's go. Got a few rods and reels set up and got to take the big guns too just in case. You never know what's going to happen out there. Load it up, ready to roll. Going to leave the ravenous there, jump in the bros whip to the beach. Oh, mighty feet has been here. Oh no, you didn't! The crocodiles are out! Oh and no! Going in for the... the bro's crocking it! <laughs> we met a few crabby locals on our way out to our spot for today. We set up a bit of a scruffy base camp and decided to start off by firing out a few soft baits. First bloody cast. The bro's hooked up. How good. That rock face down in front of us is deceivingly steep and the camera doesn't really do it justice. As well as that, this really is the wild west coast and if you're not careful it can be quite dangerous. So you won't catch us going down to the water's edge today. Instead, we have to use the swells to carefully work the fish up the rock face to a point where we can safely retrieve them. How good's that for the very first cast, bro? Epic. <laughs> Epic. Dirty. Nice fat little snapper. That's a nice solid tarmudi, bro. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh, I better get a line in. I fire out my first cast, and as soon as the soft bait hits the water, I wind up any belly that's formed in the line. I want to stay in direct contact with the soft bait as it slowly sinks through the water column. When it reaches the bottom, I give it a few short twitches, wind up the slack, let it sink back to the bottom and repeat. I'm trying to imitate a struggling bait fish and it doesn't take too long until wha-bam, I'm hooked up. It's my very first cast and I'm hooked up to an absolute donkey. You can't hear it very well because of the swell crashing on the rocks, but I'm getting absolutely peeled. Busted! Whew. They're there. Bugger. Busted. Start again. It's all right. They're on though, bro.
a tie in a new leader, bang another jig head on the end and grab another soft bait. Today I'm fishing with a 7 inch glowing gurnard soft bait from Catch. This colour is pretty much my go to and in a moment you'll see why. What happened? Oh true. <clears throat> Big fish down there eh? Deadly sesh. It's gonna get mental. Running repairs on my tripod. Gotta do what you gotta do. You should always have a roll of this stuff in your tackle bag man. This stuff will save you all sorts of like a thousand uses. Fix a shoe, fix a tripod, strap your rods together, whatever you need. Right, good as new. Now I'm going to set that up on this side over here because there seems to be a lot of action straight away. And then hopefully we can catch some of the catch some of the hits. Right, round two. Hopefully this time. Last time I got smoked. A bit more drag on that, I think. Got him this time. Yeehaw! Yeehoo! We're on, bro. What a cool session. Right. We're going to keep a couple later on, but we are here for a few hours, so we'll put these first few back and uh, hopefully this action just gets better and better. What a great fish. How's that? Straight into them. Bro, it's hooked up again. <laughs> Nice fish bro, nailing them on the softies this morning. That's a good one. It's a good one. Not bad. Stop them at least, eh? Just the next one. Not a bad bottle. Pop him back as well.
it, that's crazy. It's like, I think that's three casts and three fish. These guys are nailing it. These guys are nailing it right up in the wash. How cool. Bro. Yeah. Out of it, little king. up was a little kingy. Oh, sweating. When I'm soft baiting off the rocks, I like to use a pretty heavy jig head and I also like to fish quite a sharp jerky action. This triggers a pretty aggressive take and I reckon it helps keep my soft bait out of the weeds. It's a goodie bro. He seen me pump the rod a couple of times trying to aggressively turn the fish before he makes it to the foul and sure enough. Drop them. Nah, just drop. It's some pretty foul tiger country down there, so sometimes it can be a bit of a fine line between pulling the hooks and being run into the weeds. And I still muck it up plenty. Our original plan for this morning was to bang out the burley straight away and fire a few soft baits around until the burley really started working and then we planned to fish a few big baits. It's safe to say this morning the burley hasn't touched the water just yet and nobody's even looked at the bait. Secured. Right. That one's going in the pot. Decided I'd keep the next one. And there it is. Choo-hoo. Right. I'm gonna pop that one in the rock pool for dinner. Beauty. So hard and fast bro, 
what an episode this is going to be. Right, that glowing Gurnard soft bait is still pretty good, it could probably keep going. It's caught about 15 fish this morning, two kingfish and about 12 snapper. Um, look how chewed up the soft bait, the jig here, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, I've decided I'm going to change over to one of these orange ones. Good to go. It turns out this orange one worked just about as well as the glowing gurnard and as soon as it touched the bottom, wha-bam, I was hooked up to another good sized snapper for the table. Kahi or something bro right on the surface eh? I'd love a kahi if it is. Yes it is. I want that kahawai. Come on wave. Oh! Oh! Righty ho. I think I might try, I might try and get a Trevally, although I think there might be too many snapper to catch Trevally at the moment, but I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to pop out a bait, one of these tasty little mussels, look at that, perfect. These are steamed mussels, which makes them a little bit chewier. Hopefully it keeps them on the hook a little bit better. Let's see how that goes. So I'm going to fire it just over there. It's the truth, bro. It's the truth! It's a horse, bro. Yeah, grab the line, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the sashimi fish. Yes. That was the target with the muscle, and I got the dog. Yoo-hoo! Stoked! Yeah, yeah! Yoo-hoo-hoo! Yes! What a fish! What a session, bro! Crazy! Yeah, yeah! Buzzing! Yoo-hoo-hoo! Goody, Trev! That's what I was after. Stoking on that. Oh, amazing session. Target species acquired. Busted! Just got serious. I just hooked up to something. No way! No way! The pros are professional at catching these things. But they're not easy to catch here. Yeah? It's not as big as your last one, but it's another beauty. You know what does that bro? You know what does that? Bows do that! <laughs> Good shit bro. Oh, you make my videos brother. 
I've decided to get serious over here. If I can get a trev on this, I'll be stoked. I don't know if I'll be able to get it out far enough though. I'm gonna try. Got it done. <laughs> Got the dog. Stoked. Go little blue. You beauty. Oh, it's a big trip. Good fish, bro. Yeah. And there he is. The bro got the big dog. Beautiful Trev, brother. Well done. He's relentless, he's hooked up again. Is it a goodie? What a session we've had up here. Oh yeah, look at that. Great fish. <laughs> well, absolute carnage. I busted off everything multiple times. Busted off softies, busted off baits. Had to resort to pulling out the big guns and managed to get the job done. Got myself a nice trev on the hand line and a couple of nice fish on the rods. Epic, epic session. Just kept a few for dinners. These ones here. That one there I'm gonna name sashimi, that one there raw fish, and those two there snapper burgers. But what an incredible session off the bluff on the 90 mile. I have to say, you guys gotta be pretty careful if you come and fish out here. It's a pretty serious piece of coast. You wanna at least have a friend with you at the very least, and uh, always keep one eye on the sea. But absolutely stunning and amazing fishing. Cheer bro. Back to the truck. Whew. With the fishing part of the mission successfully completed, we decided to cruise down the 90 mile beach all the way back to Ahipara where Quinn stays. When we arrive, we're going to fill it up all of this beautiful fish, bag it up ready to distribute amongst our friends, family and neighbours. And for our hard work, we're going to prepare ourselves a bit of a seafood feast. On the menu is fresh trevally sashimi and snapper burgers. While we're quickly filleting up this fish, I'll also let you champions know some other epic muddy feet news. I recently had a website put together and got a whole heap of awesome muddy feet merchandise made. It's recently arrived in the country and is available to purchase right now. If you'd like to get your hands on some awesome muddy feet merchandise and support the mission, check it out at www.muddyfeet.co.nz. Perfect. It's good, eh?
If you enjoy my content, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. It helps me out a little bit, which means I can keep making lots of awesome content for you guys. I hope you liked this week's episode, and as always, mm. thank you for watching. Mm. We had plans for these being snapped burgers, but hey, what are we going to do? Uh, Hippata Shops never has burgers.